Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, episode edition. Um, we're going to be watching today a, a match between myself and Nate he he grows he he grows. I'm going to call him Nate. He's going to be the blue zerg and I'm going to be the red protoss. So let's get this started by pressing the unpause button. <laughs> and um yeah. So I've been out of uh, commission for a while. I've been with the sore throat, uh, really bad. I had my voice went away for for quite a while, and um, I've only been able to start talking again in the past maybe week and a half. And I didn't want to do any of this stuff because I have to talk for extended periods of time. And I'm a pretty quiet guy when it comes to sitting in my room. Um, so we say good luck, have fun. He's very, very uh, talkative, which is nice. I like that. I don't mind that at all. Um, we're going to keep an eye on the production tab. By the way, I, I usually do listen to music unless I'm on my, my, um, my, my tower computer. Uh, that computer um, can't handle two things at once, but on this laptop that I use with these video settings, I can, I can pretty much listen to whatever I want. Um, yeah, so we're just going to chit-chat about that. I, meanwhile, I send out the scouting probe. And, um, yeah, we're just going to keep an eye on that. Um, I'm noticing that he's not building that many, excuse me, he's not building that many, uh, that many drones. Um, I guess he's waiting for larva. That's okay. Um, I do like dubstep. Apparently, my brother got me into that, which is cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm scouting around. This this map is Shakuros Plateau, which is uh, for Zerg. It's pretty nice because um, you get a nice natural here, and this choke isn't too bad. Uh, the backdoor rocks can be good for Zerg if they want to knock them out pretty early. Um, against Protoss, I I'd say this map is okay. It's pretty fair. You can secure a third, not not too bad either there or there. Um, where is it at? Right there. Um, when I'm playing, uh, if my opponent spawns in the location that this guy spawned, I would usually put my third up here. And uh, if my opponent spawns cross positions, I would put it here. Just because, uh, well, it's more in the, in the path of attack. And I know that as long as I keep pressure up, I should be able to hold there easier than holding this. Because this is more open to drops more open to all kinds of other play whereas this it's pretty close to the other two bases so it's not too bad um, yeah so he's gonna be securing his his natural pretty quickly I think that's a 16 pool or something like that and he did get a spawning pool first I think it was a 14 pool some, uh, 14 pool and a 16 hatch I'm sorry um, I'm a little rusty so if you guys see my money start spiking I've only actually played two games in the past uh, week and a half so I'm trying to get back into the mojo there's a helicopter outside again for some reason um, yeah actually I, I don't think I answered this question Lil Wayne's pretty hilarious I, I listen to him just for kicks because he's so funny uh, but you can't take him seriously I mean you know you just can't take that stuff too seriously um, against Zerg by the way I'm going my usual 3 gate robo because I know that Zergs, and I did scout around, and noticed that he hadn't gotten uh, an early gas, which made me believe that he was going to go for two base roach play or something to that extent, or two base muta. And uh, I would be able to get out some quick immortals and try to put early, early pressure on him. And uh, yeah, that's that's my plan. Just against Zerg, it's usually one of my strongest matchups. Early pressure, and I know that he's going for. Uh, a two base play so I I have a little bit of leniency of course my money got a little bit high as you can clearly see uh, but I'm building you know I'm, I'm trying to build things I try not to queue things hopefully yeah nothing's queued too badly and I'm not missing my my production cycles too badly and uh, start pumping out those units and hopefully by the time he's ready to attack I will have enough units to defend it I See, I didn't see the Roach Horn, and I really didn't do a good job of scouting. It wasn't until far later that I finally get an Observer, I think. Um, which is a mistake. I should be getting that Observer sooner, because they don't take that long to build. And uh, 
yeah, they don't take that long to build and it's worth it. Uh, his zerglings are positioned in an awkward place. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's a spot for me busting down these backdoor rocks, but that would be more of a detriment to myself than than uh, than to him because a zergling run by would always be an option at that point. Always want to be um, on top of your macro. I'm trying to trying to apply Day 9's uh, latest uh, mechanics advice. So I've been using, uh, for example, the screen that you're looking at now. Uh, I hotkey it to F1, and then my ramp I usually do as F4. And then as I move down here, I'll make this F4 and this F3. And then eventually I'll move my forward position to F4 and keep my ramp as F3. Uh, just to be able to jump around a little bit quicker. Uh, let's check the APM tabs. <laughs> we're both horrible. I think, oh, because we're typing. So I guess uh, for some reason that doesn't count as APM. Don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even read that when I was playing. Or did I? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I like to. I know he's down there, so I like to place a pile, a proxy pile on somewhere where I know I'm gonna make a a good push. And this is kind of an out of the way place, so if he's coming with his uh, with his roaches, he'll excuse me, guys. He'll come down and have to do this little uh, motion here. And the chances of him spotting this behind uh, these things are not that good because he'll probably scurry ar along this corridor. And meanwhile, taking this to spot for any uh, hidden, you know, hidden ex expansions here, and maybe spot for any uh, passing units down here. I don't like to take this one because um, I feel that it's just free a free probe for him to kill. So it's not for me. I, I'm not. I'm not into that. Meanwhile, I've gotten a pretty hefty army. I didn't do a lot of zealots because um, if you were to attack me with zerglings, it would have happened already. So I kind of had a notion that he's either going for Zerg, uh, Roaches, or something to that extent. So I decided to go for this uh, Immortal Stalker uh, mix. I actually tried this one game before and I got destroyed. But it wasn't even a fun game because it was a 30 minute long game with one battle. So it wasn't even uh, all that great. So as I'm pushing forward, I make sure to... Um, and this is something I've started to do a lot more is to, as I'm pushing forward, um, rally units, and when I'm spawning units, don't just rally them to the front, but bring my front units back, regroup, and then go go again. Um, I think that's better because, uh, you know, you have a much stronger army in that sense, and you can reorganize the way you want your army to position itself. Meanwhile, as I'm pushing out, I am expanding. I sent my probes here a little bit too early. Should have been on that better. And he's deciding to push out too, so... His idea was to take the two towers, I suppose, with these zerglings and push out with these roaches. But luckily, I get some nice force fields for the first time in three weeks. And I'm able to take out maybe half of his army. So if you look at the army size tab, um, I'm still a little bit behind, which is okay. Zerg tend to be a little bit further ahead because their larva lets them regroup a little bit quicker. But it's not too bad. Wait, am I seeing that wrong? I, is that 62? Oh, okay, no, 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 I'm ahead. Guys, I need new prescription, by the way. Uh, I'm actually getting new glasses pretty soon. Uh, unless I go broke. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And um, I did a mistake in leaving my army there too mo too long. I should have uh, come back. I, I did good damage, come back. I noticed I came back to pick up these three stalkers. And then um, wait for my immortal. And then come back out. Now, obviously, he's feeling the pain. And in the, at the same time, I'm taking my my probe that's up here and putting an even more forward uh, proxy pylon. This is something I learned from, from White Raw, Duck Load Raw, where he likes to put proxy pylon everywhere, which is to some extent bad because um, notice I'm, I'm pulling back to regroup with my zealots. That's bad to some extent because um, it's free money if they push you back, but if you know that you hurt them really badly, it could be good. And another tip is to always try to move along the edge of the ramp and uh, laying down some force fields to try to get the hydras to stop shooting me a little bit as I take out the roaches. And uh, finally pushing in and trying to go. My main goal isn't to destroy him right now, it's just to neutralize his attention. 
probably lose my army, but I destroy this expansion. In my opinion, it's worth it because not only will he be behind in the economy tab, um, I'm also trying to macro as much as I can. Look at my macro. L look how great I am. 1,200. I am Gosu times 2. How's he doing? Not that good either. Um, so if I, if, I just, if my army gets destroyed, but I, I made him lose his expansion, he will basically be in panic mode. Oh my god, I need Zerglings, I need, I need this. And he, he will forget to go back into macro mode. So that was my game plan. And then uh, wait for the rest of my army before I regroup. And uh, finally getting my money back down below 1,000 by mass macroing here. And at the same time, uh, pushing in for the kill. And, uh, you know what? Uh, Nate was a great player. Um, if his push had come maybe three minutes earlier, if he would have refined it for three minutes earlier, um, he would have caught me off guard because at that point, if you recall, um, let's see if I can find it. Um, this computer's going to die, isn't it? No, we're fine. Where am I at? If he, if he would have pushed three minutes earlier, notice he, he already has some roaches. Let's look at the army size tab. 36 to 36. He's going to shoot up in a little bit. And uh, I don't have that much. I, I really don't. The unit counting station. He has four zerglings, a roach, and a queen. Uh, pretty soon he's going to skyrocket a little bit here. Um, now I get my immortal and a couple more zealots and stalkers. But now his roach count is much higher. If he would have waited just one more cycle, and uh, pushed out with his army, I'm pretty sure he would have been able to uh, take me out. If not take me out, then um, cause major damage, and then I wouldn't be able to safely expand. Um, so yeah, I think that was that was his detriment. Um, he should have pushed out just a little bit earlier. Uh, transferred some drones. I see he didn't do that. Um, when you're going for this fast uh, fast hatch, uh, you don't really need to layer that quick. I mean. He didn't really scout all that much, so I mean, let's look at what he can see. Yeah, he hasn't really scouted, and to the end of the game, he doesn't really scout at all, actually, which is kind of something he needs to work on, you know. Um, he tried to push out, but he never sent in a scouting overlord. Uh, his overlord count is always barely. So, and Nate, if you're listening or or something, just um, you know, make one or two extra overlords. Don't ever get um. Don't let it get that close. This is good right here. But don't let it get as close as it was just now. Um, and be very careful with your roaches. Don't just attack me with them. Um, and, you know, position your overlords around my base. If you can position your overlords here at these rocks, somewhere around here, up here somewhere, behind the minerals right here, you can see when I'm taking my expansion behind here you can sneak it in through here and try to see my tech um, you would have been better prepared I think and probably overrun me because you played very well you were able to get up emergency spine crawlers and two you didn't overreact the hydras were perfect because if you would have gotten a little bit more hydras let's look at the production he's making mostly roaches at this point I would have stuck to just hydras because I don't have a lot of zealots um, and the hydras eat most of the gateway units he would have decimated me. He, he did great and um, yeah so that, that's it for, for today. Um, at this point I am ranked 10th in my silver league which sucks. I mean it's fine I'm ranked 10th that's great um, but it's not that good because that's not what I want. I want I want to promote already so I'm trying to work my way there and uh, hopefully the sound in this video is a little bit better. Uh, hopefully my voice is a little bit clearer. I'm actually gonna listen to it and see if it sounds good and you guys let me know thank you all for watching and see you guys next time